I haven't even talked to the trainer yet. We just got through with the game. He just told me it was a bone contusion. So I have I don't know where we're at. Do you know the severity? You don't. I don't. I didn't. I haven't talked to the trainer. Um, they said that it's a contusion. It's not broken, which is great news. So I just want to have the opportunity to talk to him. I don't know more. Um, did you talk to him when he came out of the game at all? Or? No. I mean, obviously you didn't play it out like this, but that kind of that gave you a little bit of a spark. You were able to get the war in the game um, and, and score that tying run that had been sort of eluding you. Well, I mean, we, we had opportunities early, but Irvin Santana is so tough in those spots right there. He's not going to give in, and he's not going to make a mistake. he just soon walk you and play off your aggressiveness uh, than, than throw a pitch that you can drive uh, into the air to score a run. I mean, he's just he was like that when he was here, and he's like that now. Um, but I'm glad we capitalized on the ninth inning, uh, you know, put some runs on the board. Butera, uh, too, had a big spot there before. Yeah, great at bat right there. Uh, just put the ball in play, hit the ball to the right field. You know, got a pitch that he could that he could hit that way. It was just it was a good, calm at bat. You know, he was going to put the ball in play, wasn't going to strike out, and he found a hole. Does uh, Kendris look like he's maybe in one of his grooves? And he's right swinging the bat real well right now, that's for sure. Probably don't know what you needed from him after the first time, but the second one was him. The second one was huge. I mean, we were trying to keep Wade out of the game. You know, we're just we've really pounded our back end relievers here the last two weeks, and every opportunity to give them an extra day is always huge. How many fans in the ballpark by the end? Looked like all of them were uh, on your side. Yeah, we've got some Royals fans here for sure. Um, Dylan maybe kind of overlooked because he gave up the early runs, but then gave you some good length. Yeah, I mean, it was a great start. And, and, and I'm not talking stuff-wise, <laughs> you know. I mean, I, I was really thinking in the third inning, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get a pitcher up and get him in here because they can't let this game get away. And he, he could not get the ball down in the first two innings. Everything he was throwing was elevated in the zone. Um, his location was off. But after the, you know, after the second inning, he came in and made an adjustment and got in a groove, and you know, did a phenomenal job of getting us through six innings and keeping, you know, keeping us right there in the game. Only giving up three jobs. I mean, it was a tremendous effort on his part. The adjustment that he made was huge to be able to keep us right there uh, in that ball game till we could score the tying run. And then, of course, it, it provided us the opportunity to go with Jack and then to, to go with Kel until we could break it open there in the ninth.